Toy technology has grown so advanced that we simply have no idea what effect it might have on young, growing brains. So naturally, I bought my kid a robot for Christmas. This is the BB-8 by Sphero, and this is Cosmo by Anki. BB-8's around $200, and Cosmo's around $300. If you're dropping a stack of pineapples that big on what's pretty much a toy, you're gonna wanna know which one is best, and that's why I put them in a head-to-head -head fight to the death. Well, not really the death, it's not like they're actually alive. BB-8 largely depends on how much you like Star Wars movies. He kind of farts and bleeps and his head bobs around. It's pretty emotive for an orange and white ball. But Cosmo has this one in the bag. I never thought I'd enjoy the noise of snoring and hiccups so much. He also has this significant advantage of having eyes. If my soul hadn't been so hardened by years of disappointment, I'd have welled up when Cosmo first recognized me by name. I'm gonna award the first point to Cosmo. BB-8 smashes Cosmo in the straight line on account of him being a literal ball. But on an obstacle course, they're about on par over time. And that's because both of them have pretty tough control schemes, especially BB-8. I'm going to give BB-8 the point for sheer pace. So BB-8 has a draw mode and a patrol mode where he smashes his head off on every wall and you can sit there and watch Star Wars movies with him and he does a good impression of actually enjoying them. It's a trap. And then there's this interesting AI hologram program. Help me BB-8, I'm already getting bored. But really that's about it. Cosmo is looking smug at this point because he sings, he has a bunch of games that he becomes infuriatingly good at. He has this weird needy Tamagotchi daily feeding schedule that I immediately ignored, and even a whole deep programming mode that does seem genuinely cool. Plus, you can make him say anything you like. Get a haircut, then you look silly. The BB-8 may have the Sphero Spark app, but I still think the Cosmo absolutely smashes it for things to do. Okay, so admit it, all you guys really want to know is which one of these two would win in a fight. That's why I've organized a little sumo tournament. To the death. Turns out having a lifter and treads on a slick surface is helping Cosmo enormously. Oh, when his head's off. <laughs> so totaling up the points, it's a clear win for Cosmo. He's much closer to a personal robot, and he's the closest to the piece of technology that's come to making me feel an emotion since <laughs> scratched my Game Boy in 1993. See you in the next one.